That race was this past weekend in California. Our Kevin Reese was there. He discovered it was a race with lessons for us all. The shores of San Diego are a long way, maybe a world away from North Texas. To embrace their new world is exactly why three Texans are here. Roy Martin from Dallas lost his right foot in an industrial accident. Fort Worth's Jennifer Teague Clark lost her left leg to a benign tumor. And Caitlin Connor of Chapel Hill, a leg to a motorcycle crash and a distracted driver. They met at the Fort Worth company that makes their new legs and decided together to put their hardware and heart to a test. There's our runners. Doug, lead them in there, baby. Let's get our runners. Yeah. A team triathlon that challenged Athletes Foundation in San Diego. Hundreds of people just like them taking one very big next step. And it's just, it's just a fun weekend to be here. We're in our own element where everybody, everybody's like us and body parts are laying everywhere and it's okay. <laughs> Jennifer would be first a one mile ocean swim. Roy would be next a 10 mile run. And then Caitlin, the novice cyclist, would try 44 grueling miles. Release the doves! <laughs> Even though her training so far. Three miles? Three miles. Three miles. Three miles. Three miles. <laughs> I was not an athlete before this at all. <laughs> Talking about band girl over here. <laughs> but why, after so much trauma, so much pain, sign up for so much more? And just to to know I can I can do something that people think that I couldn't, you know. But once I pass that finish line, I can look at myself in the mirror and say, I did this. I did this. I went, I went the full distance, and I didn't do it for anybody, but to prove to myself that I could do it. Because I will, I will learn how much heart I have. And I've already got enough heart to get here, so I know I have enough heart to get through that <laughs> that line. Highly recommended. It's the most powerful weekend, life changing. But even if the race wasn't life changing, this definitely was. Oh man! Children at a running clinic showing the adults what it means to chase your dreams. And then watching these kids this weekend, man, it's really, it just touches my heart. <laughs> I don't know if I can keep up with you, you're fast. Learning that a leg or an arm doesn't define you, that heart is all that matters, that life is not a race. What I get from them, man, is, man, enjoy life. A life where technology and toughness make a bright future possible, a future worth chasing with everything you have and everything you don't. <laughs> it's not even just seeing people that have gone through what I've gone through. It's seeing kids, these little kids running around and just having a blast doing something nobody would imagine them doing. It's, it's amazing. So Jennifer took her ocean swim. Roy pounded out those 10 miles and Caitlin spent five hours on that bike, each of them crossing their own finish line not out to prove anything to anyone other than just themselves. Great job, guys. Welcome to your finish line. No walking, man. None? No walking at all. The whole way? God on the truth. No walking. And as Caitlin crossed her finish line, she was in tears, not from the pain, but from realizing she'd passed her own difficult test. I faced my fear, the fear of falling. I fell and I got back up. I fell twice, got back up each time. I faced my fear of being on a bike in traffic and cars zooming by and we almost got hit by a bus. <laughs> faced it, overcame. And that's what they found in San Diego, more proof that they can overcome, that no matter how many feet you might have, that your horizon is waiting for you to take the next step. In La Jolla, in San Diego County, Kevin Reese, Channel 8 News.